Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Khalid. Welcome back to my channel. So today, we're gonna talk about Five Five Fitness. I believe that's her name. She's on Instagram. She's a very beautiful girl. She works hard. Uh, she has like damn near over 800,000 followers. She's a very popular girl. She's done videos with so many people, uh, to be honest. She is very popular on the social media site. And so we're going to talk about if she is natty or not, because I had made a comment on one of her videos and I'll post it here. All right. Remember, I told you guys in the beginning of the recording that I was going to talk about something important. The conversation is one. My opinion on steroids. I know your opinion about steroids, about me, whatever. I know myself and I have friends who was legit super depressed because it was off. I don't have to say names, but I'm very upset because that person took my time. I tried everything to help her to come off and be happy, not depressed. She literally went straight back to steroids. She didn't care how much time we spent searching about how to make her feel better. I literally made her talk to the doctor so she could take estrogen block. She was literally to the point that she was gonna take antidepressants. But anyways, if you wanna take steroids, I'm not against you. But understand one thing, you won't change your body in eight, eight, eight weeks, but you will be depressed after. And you will lose hair. And you will never be the way you were before. You're never be, gonna be fired up again to work out like before. Because before you take steroids, you have a feeling like I'm gonna get better today, tomorrow I'm gonna be better. But then when you take steroids, everything changed and it's downhill. Like I said, I am not against you. I took in 2016 and it took me one year to get better. It was one year of me now wanting to go to the gym, but I got better. I fixed myself and I decided that if I go back and take any hormones, it would be forever. I'm not in that point yet because I still want to have one more kit too, whatever. So I'm gonna wait for that day. I took Anavar and GH. That's it. And do you think you look better then? Or I do you look think better now? now? Oh my gosh. Like I said, eight weeks of taking Anavar or whatever you want, it won't change your body. It literally will change the way you feel about things. When you come off, you will be destroyed. So if you wanna do it, remember, it's for life. It's a dark side for a reason. You will be stuck in that hole. So remember, never take it or take it and remember you're gonna be depressed. So my opinion on steroids is that. It's not that it's gonna be bad, but it's going to put you depressed. But it's going to make you lose hair. So it's about you. If you decided that is what you want, go ahead. She said that she is natural, okay? Now listen, when I do these type of videos with people, it is not to shame them. It is not to throw dirt on their name. Uh, you know, it's not to talk bad about them. It's just giving my honest opinion and just me watching and seeing what these people are doing and just observing and reporting back, basically. So I made a comment on her page when she posted that video saying that, you know, she's natural. She hasn't taken anything. I'll read off what I said. I said simply, just get your blood work done and show your fans. Simple. I don't care if you take or not. You look great, but it seems your fans don't believe you. So get recent blood work done and make a video on it. She responds and she says, 100% down to get my blood work done and make a video about it. And she asks more plates, more dates. She says, let's do it. He is the best with this and he can give you guys a breakdown of my blood work. So from there, basically from what she's saying is that she's, she's natural and she can, she's ready to uh, do a blood work test if that's what it takes. Now understand this. There are many ways people can fake blood tests. There's plenty of ways that people detox themselves from whatever it is they're taking and they do blood work and they can still come up and be fine. If they take two months off, take three months off or something, or just take a, a hiatus, they, they take a break from the anabolics for a while, they can go get a blood test and it will show up that they're not taking anything, okay? Uh, some people can fake these things. With her, I, for me, I'm gonna be honest with you, I recommend that somebody do it randomly. They pop up on her 
and they they you know take her blood and when she least expects it they just pull up on her they they take her blood and then they take it back to the lab and they get it tested okay i believe that that's the best way to do it um you know again some people can fake blood tests they can you know fake their videos and things like that with a bunch of editing all of that can happen there's plenty of people still on those comment sections that are basically still saying that too and, you know, most of her fans do not believe that she's natural. There's another comment that I'll, I'll show that this confirms to me that she's not a lifetime natural, that she said in the past that she uh, did try to compete at one time. And I believe she said, OK, to someone, she says, I've been working out for over 20 years. In 2016, I was going to compete. This was before I ever decided social media. I had a coach. And he had me take a cycle. I hated it. I was having side effects and mood swings. I stopped taking it and I didn't even compete in the show. That was the only time I tried anabolics. Other than that, I've been natural my entire life. That doesn't make sense because your entire life you're not natural. Okay, but I'm just saying. I'm just going off of this. Okay, once you try anabolics, you're not a lifetime natural anymore. Okay, you try anything from SARMs, you try anything from anabolics. Okay, anything that that uh, you know, if you go into a show and they check you, they they check your piss or they, you know, you get a blood test and these things pop up, you're not natural. Okay, so. She says, that was the only time I tried anabolics. Other than that, I've been natural my entire life. And she was like, my entire career on social media, I have been natural. So, listen, I'm not saying I don't believe her. She works very hard, okay? And to keep her figure, she is constantly training in tents. And she is also keeping her diet on point as well. Now, if you ask me, is she natural? Clearly, she stated that she's taken anabolics before, so she's not lifetime. And she hasn't really talked about um, in that period in time and how long, okay? Because someone can take anabolics for a certain amount of time. They can get gains from it, okay? And when they, when they hop up off of it, yeah, they will lose some of it. But if they consistently training and dieting, they can keep a lot of that, okay? You, you might lose some size or you might lose some, some vascularity and some, um, you know, your, your, your leanness. You might develop some more water. You might lose some of your cuts. That happens. But for the most part, like if you have a certain figure, you're not going to lose too much of that as long as you're, you're training consistently. OK, and this woman seems to be training, uh, training consistently and staying on her diet because the way this woman looks, she looks incredible, okay? And year round, she looks like this as well. So is it a possibility that she might not be taking anything now at the moment? Yes, it could be a possibility. Maybe she's not, maybe for the past couple years, she didn't take anything, possibly, okay? Or maybe every now and then she cycles on something and she's not telling anybody. And then she's, then for the moment that she knows she's not taking anything, she's telling people she's natural, Okay. These things can happen. These are what people do. They, I've literally heard some people say that they're natural while taking testosterone, okay? You're not natural if you're taking testosterone. So it, it really is the perspective of the person, okay? Now, can, can the average girl that work out hard look like Fafa Fitness? Absolutely not. Absolutely not, bro. Like, it, it, it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of dieting and hard work to try to even have a body type like her. First of all, genetics play a big part in that as well. Remember, genetics is one of the biggest things that play a part in how you're going to look, okay? So saying that the average girl can look like her, more than likely, no. It's like a 95% chance that she, nobody would look like her, like a female would not look like her, okay? And even if they go to the anabolic route of taking things, it's still a big possibility that they will not they will not look like her because again everybody body sh is structured different genetics is different everything is different on a, on a person so nobody can really look like anybody okay so with me my thing is is that i believe now she might be natural she's not taking anything now but that does not mean that she hasn't taken things in the past that help her develop the body she has now. 
okay and again by the com by the comment she she wrote to someone else she clearly was taking anabolics for a prep show she was prepping for a show it doesn't say for how long she was on it okay and it doesn't mean that you know maybe at that time she took it and she wasn't feeling well that like she said she wasn't feeling it this and that but she could have got back on it maybe she could have had a better coach that gave her a better dosage gave her a better cycle to take and it worked out for her these are things that she's not explaining so i can't fully say that you know this girl is natural clearly she's she's saying at a point in time she wasn't so a lifetime natural she is not she is not a lifetime natural if she says that she is that is a straight up lie period she's lying if she says that but if she's for the moment, she's not taking anything. And maybe let's say, you know, it's been six months. She hasn't taken anything. Well, for the moment, she's natural. OK, she's natural. But I think people need to really clarify on the things that they're talking about, that they're saying to their fans, that they're saying to people, because you are not a lifetime natural if you've taken drugs in your past. OK, and you're, you can't just say that, hey, I'm not you, like if you're natural at the time being when somebody asks you and you haven't been taking anything for, you know, let's say since the last time you did, if it was a year ago or two years ago, you need to clarify that to them. You need to tell them, hey, the last time I took anabolics was two years ago. So ever since then, I've been clean. I am completely natural for now. These two years, I have not taken anything. But before then, I was on so and so cycle. I think a lot of people need to just be more clear on those things, okay? And she wasn't 100% clear on that. On when, when she said that she did her cycle, for how long, we don't know. This woman says she's been working out for 20 years. It's easy for her to, to hop on drugs for a couple years and then for another couple years she's off of it and then hop back on drugs. She's been training for 20 years, okay? It's easy to do these things. Now, I told her that she should just get some blood work done. But she needs to do it right away. Like there's no waiting. There's no, you know, if she does it within the next month or two months and she finally says, oh, yeah, I got blood work. It's suspicious. You took all of this time and you could have cleaned yourself and then you make a video and hey, look, I'm natural, you know. So if you're trying to really show your fans that you are natural, you need to do that ASAP. You need to do that right away. And it, it, when you uh, film this video, there should be no edits in it. No edits, no cuts. It should just be raw. People should see what you're doing. I would also even just say take a piss test too. You know, even though piss tests is you can fake way more than a blood test, but still, I would say unannounced, randomly, nobody knows this. They pull up on you. They take your blood, take your piss, and just see what's up, you know? Other than that, I'm not going to go hard on, on her about if she takes it or not. My only problem is if she lies about it, but listen, if she takes it, that's fine. I just think that you should admit it, you know, that that's what you do to help you out. That's OK. Two, on top of that, this woman is almost 40 years old. Let, let me put that out there as well. Her age. She's in her late 30s. OK, so for a woman to look like that in her late 30s, again, a lot of people are going to speculate that, yo, you have to be on something. You know, older women don't even when they work out, older women still does not look like her. Unless it's genetics. I've seen some women with great genetics where they have nice thick legs and, you know, have a night, have nice glutes and, you know, their body is shaped very nice. And that's mostly because of their genetics. It's not because of them training. OK, the training is just an add to that. OK, if you if you have great genetics and then you add weightlifting and dieting into that, you're going to look amazing. OK, and I think another thing that we should look at is her pictures when she was young. How did she look like when she was a teenager? OK, you need to do that because as well, if she's going to state genetics, which I believe she did in one of the comments, I, I don't have that as now to pull that up. She stated about genetics and we need to see what she looks like when she was younger, when she was a teenager, you know, had the curvy body that she has now. And she was she had some muscular development as a teenager as well. And she was very fit. Well, then that should say a lot as well into the way that her body looks now, because that can also help. But again, is it an indicator that she hasn't taken anything, that she's completely natural? No, it's not. It's not an indication. But these are things that we have to look at in order to tell if somebody is, you know, natty or not.
that's just my video on her. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think that she should do random blood tests? She should have a video. She should post it to her fans. Or you just think that, hey, she's just straight up lying and she needs to just tell the damn truth. Uh, that's going on a lot now in this fitness industry. A lot of people are just not being honest, man. They are not being honest. And I don't understand it because that's not me. But hey, I don't have to deal with, you know, people like Liver King. You know, he's been lying for years. And then, you know, we all caught him in a lie when we know that this man was on uh, anabolics. OK, so the, the, the truth would always come to light at some point. Thank you guys for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe, man. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys into the next one. All right. Peace out.